Dear child of God, it is working for your good. Dear child of God, I want you to know today that everything will turn out for your good. It doesn't matter what it is right now. It doesn't matter what they are doing to you. It doesn't matter the affliction that is coming upon you. It will all work out for your good. God has something he will bring out of that situation that will be favorable unto you. The word of God in Romans chapter 8 verse 28 says, And we know that all things work together for good for those who love God. To those who are called according to his purpose, dear child of God, every single thing that has been happening to you, God knows about it. He understood every of the process and that was why he allowed it to happen because he knows that it is going to work for your good. Yes, you are facing rejection right now. You are facing difficulties right now. But God is telling you, stay put because there is something he will bring out of that situation. They did not realize that all the things they were doing against Joseph was for the good of Joseph and was for the good of many. They thought they were doing evil against him, but it was working for good. He will come and tell them at the end of the day that you meant it for evil. You planned evil against me, but God taught it for good. Dear child of God, that thing that they are doing against you, dear child of God, that oppression you are facing, that difficulty you are going through, God is strengthening you. God is giving you the ability to withstand whatever situation that will come even after. And by the time they are done, you have been built by God. You have become so strong to stand any situation. And from that moment on, God will be lifting you up. Dear child of God, God is taking you through that process. So you'll be gaining the experiences that you need to gain. So you'll be getting to know those people that you need to know that will be of help to you in the future. They thought they threw you out, but they did not understand that God was preparing you. So you will see the number of people who are out there seeking shelter, who are out there seeking for help. And God will use you to be that blessing to their life. I want you to know that the more that they are doing these things against you, the more God is positioning you for your elevation in life. In Exodus chapter 1 verse 12, the word of God said, But the more they oppressed them, the more they multiplied, and the more they spread out. Dear child of God, they thought they are doing these things against you. They may be thinking right now that they are destroying your life. They may be thinking right now that they are bringing so much pain upon you. What they have not understood yet is that God is using that to give you extra strength and you are having the ability to stand. God is using that to help you to grow. And by the time you are grown, by the time the position is given to you, you will do better than anyone else. The child of God. It may be difficult right now, but know that everything is working for your good. He says the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew. Dear child of God, you will see God's supernatural love being expressed to you and to everyone around you. Because he says all things are working together for your good. Just because you love God, just because you are conscious of God, you will discover that that thing they meant for evil, God will turn it around and it will be for your good and for the good of many. They lied against you. They cheated you. They blackmailed you. They did everything they would do to destroy your name. But I want you to know this day that God is using that to announce you. They were doing everything they were doing, thinking they were going to destroy you. But they had not realized that they were increasing your popularity, dear child of God. Soon enough, you will be amazed the numbers of followers you will gather. And by then, they will not be able to do anything about it. God will continually lift you up from then on, dear child of God. They may be fighting you right now. They fought against Jesus. 
but they had not realized that all the things they were doing against him were going to turn out for his good. They later would say, the princes would say, had we known we wouldn't have crucified him, their child of God, it is working for good. It was that destruction that led to us knowing Jesus. It was that crucifixion of Christ. It was those things he had to go through that brought us into the fold of the faith, their child of God. The people may be doing all they are doing against you right now. Just ask God, what do you want to get out of this for me? Ask God and say, Lord, give me the grace. You have said in your word that everything are working together for my good. I want to see the good out of this situation. And I want to assure you, dear child of God, you will begin to see the good. God will open your eyes and will begin to see that now you have been given a reason for him to prepare a table for you. You see, he said that he prepares a table. David was speaking and then he said, you prepare a table in the presence of my enemy. It means if there was no enemy, most probably the probably wouldn't have been a table to be made unto him. And God will use that and anointed him. He says, you anointed my head with oil and my cup overflows. Dear child of God, you may think right now that they are doing you all the injustice that they think they want to do, but know for sure that God will pick it, God will use it and be a blessing to you. God will use that medium and that channel to achieve his purpose that he has said already that nobody can stop it. Nobody can withstand the purpose of God from coming to pass. So he's letting you know today that all that is happening to you, all that is happening against your family, all that you have been experiencing is letting you know for sure that they are working for your good. They are working for your favor. They are working for your blessings. They are working for your upliftment. And by the time you see the end of it all, you would have a reason to glorify God. In John chapter 12 verse 19, the word of God says, The Pharisees therefore said among themselves, See how you accomplished nothing. Look, the whole world has gone after him. They thought they wanted to destroy Jesus. But at the end of the day, they were increasing the popularity of Jesus that they would rather say the whole world had gone after him. They thought they were destroying him, but they did not know that they were increasing his popularity. They did not know that they were making him known even to the whole world. Dear child of God, I want you to relax and see the good out of that situation and see something that God is working out for your good. You may be going through pains right now. It may truly be challenging, but know for sure that it is working for your good. Yes, they thought they were doing evil against you. They thought they were destroying you. But God was bringing something out of it that will cause you to rejoice, that will cause you to be glad. So look at them next time when they are doing the things they are doing against your marriage. What they have not realized is that they will make you the best mother on earth. They will make you the best husband on the face of the earth because this will keep you on your toes and this will help you to be the best that you should be. They may think that they are fighting against you, but they have not known for sure that they are increasing your competence, dear child of God. This is what I want you to know. It may be looking challenging right now, but it will all turn out for your good. He increased his people greatly and made them stronger than their adversaries. Psalms 105 verse 24. And all of these things came when they were faced with opposition. Know for sure that despite the oppositions you may be faced with right now, God will make sure that your increase, your blessings, everything that would make your life good will come out from there in the mighty name of Jesus. And we know that all things work together for good. For those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose, things will work for your good all the days of your life. And you will receive your inheritance, the portion of your blessings, and your cup will continually overflow in the mighty name of Jesus. You will enjoy the full benefit of God. You will see his blessings in the land of the living in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And he will cause you to receive every 
of the things he had promised to give unto you in the name of Jesus. Everything that they thought they were trying to get away from you, he will cause you to receive them all. Like he brought Joseph to the throne that was deprived him. He will bring you to that throne. He will take you to that place of your blessing. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you. And shalom.